It's time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, August the 6th, 2020. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Sheriff Foster died last week on Thursday, July the 30th, 2020. She was a longtime beloved teacher at DeShazo Elementary here in Muleshoe. Sheriff was born on September the 11th, 1940 in Rising Star, Texas, to the late Verna Joe and Lewis Corder. She is survived by her loving husband, James Webb Foster, her two sons and their spouses, Wesley Lewis and his wife, Marlena, and James Corder and Jennifer, her four grandchildren who she loved, Bryce, Andrew, Sterling, and Arden. Cher is also survived by three sisters, Carol Ann Winter Moody, Ruth Lou Leffel, and Deborah Corder Clark, and many nieces and nephews who she adored. Cher was a country girl. Her formative years were during World War II and the immediate years following. She grew up on a farm where her father grew peanuts, a commodity for the war effort. When she was eight, it quit raining, and for seven years, everyone in the farming community struggled to survive. During that time, she only had one pair of socks, which she washed each night. Shara's sister, Carol, was four years her senior. They were close throughout their lives. Her sister, Ruthie, was two years younger and her playmate and confidant. Her youngest sister was Debbie, and she took a lot of responsibility for her like a little mother. All of the sisters were very close throughout their lives. When Shara graduated from college, college, she told Ruthie, others may come and go in our lives, but we will always be there for each other. Shara attended Noodle schools and graduated from Merkel High School. While in high school, she was an outstanding athlete playing basketball and volleyball. And if you remember, she was very tall. Shara attended the University of North Texas and Abilene Christian College. She graduated from college in three years to begin her 30-year teaching career. She taught in Lovington, New Mexico, Roswell, New Mexico, Lubbock, and Muleshoe. And, of course, mainly at Muleshoe, she was at DeShazo Elementary, where she retired. During her career, she taught every grade level and subject in elementary school. She loved all of her students immensely. It was while teaching in Roswell that she met and married the love of her life, James Webb Foster. Jim and Shara were married on July the 7th, 1965. They spent 55 uh, years devoted to each other, their two boys and their families. During their marriage, they took great tra- uh, pleasure in traveling. She was a faithful member of the Church of Christ, her last church home being w- Waterview Church of Christ. She relished in being able to participate in the late ladies' Bible class. In her later years, she savored the simple pleasures in life, spending time together with Jim at home in Lucas, playing marbles, antique shopping, spooling their dog Fritz. Shara was will be remembered by her family and friends for her joyful spirit an encourager to others. She always had a bright, cheerful, positive outlook on life. You could always hear her smile on the phone. Anyone who knew her knew of her love for God and telling them about all the blessings he gave her throughout her life. Shara was a blessing to us all. Please keep the family of Shara Foster on your prayer list today. She died Thursday, July the 30th, and was a longtime beloved teacher at Mary DeShazo Elementary School here in Muleshoe. Benito Alicon, 65 of Clovis, died Thursday, July the 30th in Lubbock. He was born January the 27th, 1955 in Juarez, Mexico, to Benito and Juanita Villanueva Alicon. A service will take place at a later date. Benito was uh, survived by his two sons, Benito Alicon III and Leo Gonzalez, three sisters, Victoria Cuevas, Agapita Alacon and Vicky Gonzalez, all three of Muleshoe, and a brother, Martin Alacon of Muleshoe as well. Please keep the family of Benito Alacon on your prayer list today. A funeral service will take place at a later date. Well, the Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association is planning their 81st annual meeting. It will be different this year due to the pandemic. It will be a drive-through meeting there at their offices at 610 East American Boulevard Tuesday, August the 25th from 4.30 until 7 p.m. Enter the south side of Bailey County Electric Cooperative 
headquarters behind the BCEC office for the health and safety of our members and employees. This year's meeting will be a drive through event. Members will vote, receive attendance gifts, and a box-to-go meal. No one will get out of the car. Simply visit each station and exit after receiving your meal. Gates will open at 4.30 p.m., and close at 7 p.m. If you want more details, you can see the August 2020 issue of the Texas Co-op Power magazine for lots of details. If you have any questions, you can contact BCEC at 806-272-4504. But mark it down now, Tuesday, August the 25th from 4.30 until 7 at 610 East American Boulevard. A drive through annual meeting. It's the 81st annual meeting of the Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association. Well, we hope you were following along like we were, as on Sunday it ended the SpaceX NASA Dragon uh, crew splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, successfully sending Americans back from American soil uh, to the International Space Station, where they spent the last several uh, weeks and ended on Sunday in uh, the waters off of the coast of Florida. And we thought it would be a fun thing to catch up with a Muleshoe native who has had a long distinguished career with NASA. Jody Foster Rhodes was born in Portales, uh, New Mexico on October 1976. She moved to Muleshoe with her mom, Jane Calton, and her sisters, Jill McCall and Jana Dodd, in 1982 and lived in Muleshoe until graduating from Muleshoe High School in 1995. After high school, Jody received an academic scholarship and attended Eastern New Mexico University, where she double majored in math and computer science and minored in statistics. Jody graduated from ENMU in 1999 with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Computer Science. After graduating from Eastern, uh, Jody was hired by the United Space Alliance, the prime contractor for NASA's Space Shuttle Orbiter Pro- Program and began working at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, in July of 1999. Over the course of her 21 years at NASA, Jody has developed and programmed several software programs and websites designed for the Flight and Operations Data File Group within the Flight Operation Directorate. Her most notable contribution was the development and design of Comet, a configuration management system for all crew and ground procedures for the International Space Station, Boeing, and the Artemis programs. The software stores, tracks, and manages all changes and approvals and publication of procedures used on board the space vehicles as well as on the ground in mission control. In addition to comment, Jody is currently working on the requirements and development of a procedure authoring, viewing, and executing tool for the Artemis missions. This will be used and flown on the Artemis II mission scheduled for 20 24. And if you don't know, the Artemis mission is the missions that will return humans to the moon. Jody has received several awards from NASA, including the NASA Space Flight Awareness Award, NASA Group Achievement Award, and the United Space Alliance Quest for Excellent Award. Jody also provided launch support for two space shuttle missions at Kennedy Space Center, STS-123 Endeavor in March of 2008, and STS-128 Discovery in August 2009. Jody is married to Brian Rhodes, who works at the NASA Frequency Assignment Program Manager at NASA Glenn Research Center. Jody and Brian have two kids, a son Landon in ninth grade and a daughter Kinsey in fifth grade, and currently reside in Avon, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. Jody contributes her success to friends and family who supported her over the years. She's thankful for Coach Albertson and Mrs. Milburn during her high school years at Muleshoe High School for always encouraging her, helping her be a better person, and strive to learn more each day. Jody recalls that both Coach Albertson and Mrs. Milburn always inspired her to be a better to be better than she thought she could be. Their enthusiasm and support were pivotal and important in a time when students are worried about the future. Both of them made Jody feel important and special and gave her uh, the confidence to reach further than she could have imagined. And we want to thank Jody Foster Rhodes for uh, uh, giving us this biography on, on her and with that uh, fun SpaceX and NASA 
uh, mission that just completed this past weekend. We thought it would be uh, cool to catch up with Jody Foster Rhodes, a Muleshoe High School graduate in the class of 1995 who has had a long 21-year career at NASA. So we'll look for many great things from Jody in the future as she is working now with that Artemis program at NASA, which will return humans to the moon. Well, watch your TV screen now as uh, we recently noticed that Kim Bell's posted on Facebook that it was his uh, dream to uh, honor his uh, son, Chad Bells, with a flagpole at the EMS station. And he says lots of people have uh, donated their labor, lots of supplies and monetary donations to make this possible. And you're seeing that flagpole that was uh, put up over the last several days at the Bailey County EMS station there on American Boulevard, of course. Uh, his son, Chad Bells, was a Marine private first class, and he died April the 3rd, 2003, in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Chad was only 20 and was assigned to the 1st Transportation Support Battalion, 1st Force Service Support Group at Camp Pendleton, California, and was killed in a non-hostile vehicle accident east of Ash Shaheen, Iraq. And that will be a wonderful thing when it's all finished the flagpole in honor memorializing Private First Class Marine Chad Bells. Well, the last day of the Muleshoe Water Park is quickly approaching as it will be Sunday, August the 9th. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. In an effort to keep up with the latest fraud protection available, First Bank of Muleshoe's My Mobile Money app has been replaced with Secure Lock Equip. Secure Lock Equip is very similar to My Mobile Money as it is an easy to use mobile app that puts the power to protect your debit cards in your hands and it's available to all participating cardholders. It empowers First Bank's customers to prevent fraud if your card is lost or stolen simply by turning your card off from your phone. Control spending by setting limits on withdrawals or transactions. Customize spending ability of online, mobile, or in-store purchases. Set alert notifications for each time a transaction is made. Block international or out-of-area transactions as well. Download the Secure Lock Equip app from Google Play for Android phones or at the App Store for iPhones. Follow the steps to connect your First Bank of Muleshoe debit cards. If you need more information or help, you can call the First Bank here in Muleshoe, 806-272-4515. Check them out online, fbmuleshoe.com. The First Bank Secure Lock Equip, available now for Android or iPhone through the Google Play Store or the App Store. The First Bank is member FDIC. Liao's is the best Mexican food I've ever eaten in my life, and I've been alive for 10 years now. Hi, I'm Isla Reynolds, and I enjoy the phenomenal bean burritos, rice and beans, and chips, and seasoning salt. I've been around and eaten lots of Mexican food in 10 years, and Liao's is the best, for sure, with the, the original being located at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshu, Texas, since 1957. Wedding shower selections available now for Trisha Edwards and Joel Coward at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas. The shower is August the 23rd. Get the special of the month while supplies last. The seven-piece roller and tray set, now only $8.77, sell price good through the end of August. Brand new, the original Rust Eater, free all, deep penetrating oil that eats rust and splits bolts and is a must for your garage or shop. Looking to get that last-minute project done in your yard before the summer slips away? Frying Cox has a huge selection of rakes, hose, shovels, weed eaters, chainsaws, and lawn care goods, including a selection of lawn mower and tiller accessories in stock and right here in Mule Shoe. Don't forget, Frying Cox has lots of kitchen appliances like crock pots, microwaves, blenders, and more now available at 401 South 1st Street in Mule Shoe, Texas. They're open Monday through Saturdays, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Well, our latest update from the Muleshoe Bailey County Emergency Management Group uh, was from Tuesday on the COVID-19 pandemic as it relates here in Bailey County and Muleshoe. There, as of uh, Tuesday, was 34 active COVID-19 cases, 
21 positive tests have been administered here in Bailey County. 162 have recovered, and sadly, five deaths related to COVID-19, and that update was as of Tuesday. We may give it, get another update uh, as we finish up the mule train today and maybe a video and audio update from our uh, Mule Shoe Police Chief, Gary McComb, and we'll tack that onto the end of the mule train uh, if that does happen before we end up here today. But last Friday, we got a press release from Bailey County Attorney Jackie Claiborne in the Emergency Management Group. We thought we'd read it to you as it uh, uh, had some interesting insight. It, it says, in our effort to keep the public informed, of the ongoing COVID-19 situation in Bailey County, we wanted to offer the following updates. First, after testing all residents and staff at Parkview Nursing Care Center, only four were found to be positive. Due to privacy concerns, we cannot offer any more information on the individuals who tested positive. We can tell you that one of the four positives, um, we can tell you that of the four positives, one has passed away and none of the other three are currently at Parkview. Both residents and staff will continue to be monitored for symptoms and will be tested as needed. Second, Bailey County suffered its fifth death related to COVID-19. We ask that everyone keep these families in their prayers and they go as they go through this difficult time. Finally, in an effort to determine why the numbers we release and the numbers at the Texas Department of State Health Services website do not match, we have learned that there is a difference in the way that the tests are counted. There are two types of tests available to people in Bailey County. The state offered tests at Mule Sherry Medical Center and the rapid tests at Sudan Medical Clinic. DSHS in their totals do not include the rapid test positives. In no way is this meant to diminish the quality of the rapid tests. It merely means that these tests were not administered and tested by DSHS. Both the state offered test and the rapid test being offered in Muleshoe have been proven to be over 85% accurate. In our numbers, we will continue to list positives from both types of test. We are thoroughly confident in our numbers as every individual listed as positive and or recovered has been personally contacted by our contact tracing teams and confirmed prior to being added to the Bailey County list. Additionally, DSHS is having to monitor, count, and track cases for all 254 counties in Texas. This results in there being a lag time until the numbers on the DSHS website are updated. We hope this explains the difference in the numbers and gives everyone confidence in the numbers being published by the Bailey County and City of Muleshoe. We continue to ask everyone to follow social distancing protocols and wear their masks when in public in accordance with the governor's order. And that was from Friday, a press release from Jackie Claiborne, Bailey County attorney in the Muleshoe Bailey County Emergency Management uh, and, of course, as I said earlier, our last update was from Tuesday with 34 active COVID-19 cases here in Bailey County. And I delivered some meals recently uh, a couple times for the Senior Center, and there are quite a few people s suffering with this disease in quarantine, so please keep all of them on your prayer list today. We added to our screen some interesting um, slides from the DSHS, so make sure to read through those, including the importance of wearing a mask in public, social distancing, how the virus spreads, and the dangers of COVID-19 for elderly people. Well, the Muleshoe ISD had parent meetings on Monday evening at Dillman Elementary in the cafeteria for all elementary parents and then at the Cary Moore Auditorium for all high school and junior high parents. We filmed those in their entirety, and they're available free of charge on demand to watch on our website, MuleshoeTV.com. They talked a lot about the uh, reopening of schools and the in-person and remote learning options talked about a lot of the safety protocols in this uh, COVID-19 age that they will uh, be following in the year of 2020-2021 school year. Also, you can go to the Muleshoe ISD's website and get the 10-page um, reopening statement that goes through in much more detail about all the plans that the board and superintendent have 
uh, put together for this school year during a pandemic. The first day of school is Wednesday, August the 12th here in the Muleshoe ISD. Please keep everyone, the staff, the faculty, the coaches, the players, the students uh, on your prayer list today as we hope that goes uh, very safely. It is time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by K&K Pharmacy. First, a message from our sponsor. Well, you want to come into K&K Pharmacy here in Muleshoe. 1411 West American Boulevard is they're having a huge clearing out and cleaning up sale 25 to 75 percent off 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. at K&K Pharmacy. They also have drive through and delivery options available going on now. 1411 West American Boulevard is they've remodeled and renovated inside their store, and they're having huge discounts, 25 to 75% off. They also remind you that if you must wear a mask, you might as well make it fun. Add your school logo favorite saying, picture, or more. Customized masks available now at K&K Pharmacy. Call them 806-272-7511. Also, it is the time to get your kids vaccinated for going back to school. And K&K Pharmacy can give your children their school vaccinations. Call them again, 806-272-7511. Go by 1411 West American Boulevard. You can text them, 254-271-8605. They offer pickup, delivery, or mailing of uh, options available now. They have a drive through of course, on the west side of the building. K&K Pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard. Well, as this weekend we turned a new page into the month of August, we hope we also turn a new page on our rain chances and rainfall that we get here in Muleshoe. But so far, we haven't been very lucky. We did get 19 one-hundredths of an inch of rain uh, late Sunday night and early Monday morning. The uh, Earth Mesonet Station, which is in a field right next to Tolk Plant, received on uh, Sunday night, early Monday morning, 24 one-hundredths of an inch of rain in the Muleshoe Mesonet Station, which is two miles south of town, got 27 one hundredths of an inch of rain. So that's all we've had so far in the month of August. But we do have rain chances today on Thursday for the Muleshoe area, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours. Mostly sunny. We're getting hot again, high near 100 degrees south winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Tonight, another 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly before 1 a.m., partly cloudy, low around 68. Southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour, becoming south-southeast in the evening hours, mostly sunny and hot on Friday, high near 98 degrees. South-southwest winds, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Then Friday night, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m., mostly cloudy, low around 67 South-southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Saturday, mostly sunny and hot, high near 97. South-southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Then Saturday night, partly cloudy, low around 67. Sunny and hot on Sunday, high near 97 degrees. Sunday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy, low around 67. Sunny and hot on Monday, high near 98 degrees. South winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Monday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy, low around 66 Tuesday, mostly sunny and hot, high near 97 degrees, partly cloudy. Tuesday night, low around 66. Sunny and hot again on Wednesday, high near 98. So that's sort of like a broken record with uh, temperatures in the upper 90s, 100 area every day, and then some slight rain chances nearly every evening. So hopefully we'll get some rain here in the next few days. Again, a 20% chance of rain this afternoon on Thursday. High near 100 degrees, a 20% chance of rain this evening before 1 a.m., partly cloudy, low around 68. Friday, mostly sunny and hot, high near 98, a 20% chance of rain Friday night before 1 a.m., mostly cloudy, low around 67. K&K Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Well, we caught up with John Gully recently as he is entering his 40th year teaching 36 of those years have been right here in Muleshoe. Of course, he's an MHS grad. He taught for four years at Midland High School after getting his bachelor's degree. Then he went back to tech for his master's degree. And over the years, 
He has taught American history, government, economics, French, and Spanish. He says he has always had great support throughout the years with the administrators here in the Muleshoe schools. Some of his best memories were teaching with Dr. Kerry Moore and directing plays with him. Uh, Kerry is the one who persuaded John to come back to MHS as he had him as a freshman at Muleshoe High School. So good luck and God bless to John Gully as he begins his 40th year teaching, and 36 of those have been right here in Muleshoe at Muleshoe High School. He has taught American history, government, economics, French, and Spanish over the years. I had him for Spanish in high school, and he was an excellent teacher, and we're so lucky to have him coming back to our Muleshoe schools. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Since 1925, AIM Bank is proud to be one of the largest locally owned and operated banks in West Texas. Our expert bankers have an in-depth understanding of the local economy, and we are proud to provide our customers with quick local loan decisions. At AIM Bank, we know that strong local partnerships are crucial for growth and success. Investing in you has been our focus from day one. We provide the latest in technology for your online and mobile banking with features like mobile check deposit. At AIM Bank, we care about your accounts as much as you do. So we pride ourselves on real personal attention because we are also your neighbor. We invite you to come in and experience the real personal attention AIM Bank has to offer. We want to know you because we live, work, and raise our families right here in Muleshoe too. AIM Bank is committed to making a difference in the communities we serve. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hello, I'm Keith Kobe with the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic. As we continue in this pandemic, your health is our utmost concern. We continue to work diligently to make the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic a safe place for you and your family. Most importantly, during this time, it is essential to keep up with your routine exams so we can help you address your medical problems before they get out of control. As always, please continue to practice CDC guidelines by wearing a mask in public areas and while visiting us. Please remember to stay six feet apart and wash or sanitize your hands frequently. Call the Muleshoe Family Medicine Clinic so we can help you live in a healthy life. That's 806-272-7531. Well, join us every Sunday for our three church programs that we do from First Baptist Church, First United Methodist Church, and the Calvary Baptist Church. Uh, Brother Jeff Kaufman there at Calvary. We uh, This past Sunday, Dr. Joel Gregory gave the sermon, When a Six-Toed Giant Comes After You. You can watch that video uh, free of charge on demand on our website. Then here... Do Our Hearts Burn Within Us by the Reverend Brooks Morton from the First United Methodist Church. And then Remember Part 2 by Brother Jeff Kaufman at Calvary Baptist Church. Click on the First Baptist, First Methodist, or Calvary Baptist tabs, top left corner of our website, muleshootv.com. We do the live stream every Sunday morning live at 11 a.m. from the First Baptist Church. And this coming Sunday... It will be Dr. Stacey Connor back in the pulpit, and his message will be a thumb for a thumb, a big toe for a big toe from Judges 1, 1 through 7. And a scripture reading will be from Matthew five thirty-eight through 42. That's live 11 a.m. And then later Sunday afternoon, we have up the audio programs from First United Methodist Church along with Calvary Baptist. Well, last week on Friday, we named a new sweetheart. It's Marshall Cook as he recently turned 93 years old. He served in the military during World War II in the hospital corps in the Navy. And we wanted to spotlight Marshall, a really good sweetheart program. Watch it free of charge on demand, MuleshoeTV.com. Click on the sweetheart tab at the top center of the page. We have a new Muleshoe police officer pictured on our screen on our website as well in, in the Mule Train today, Beatrice Mendoza. You can see her being sworn in by uh, City Secretary uh, Zaina Carpenter recently on our front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. Well, the Senior Center is desperately needing volunteers. If you could donate some of your time any day of the week, once or twice a week, or uh, three or four would be great, too, as well. You can call them at 806-272-4969 as they are back to 
delivering meals to homes, doing drive through uh, in the back of the building, as well as serving meals inside the building and social distancing and uh, there in the building. They always need volunteers. Again, call Carolyn Johnson or Casey, the, uh, s- the director or the assistant director at the Senior Center, 806 272 Four nine six nine today on Thursday they're serving hot dog on a bun, or excuse me today on Thursday they're serving barbecue beef sandwiches tater tots carrot and zucchini, ambrosia, tomorrow on Friday August seventh fish or chicken strips on Monday August tenth baked chicken and dumplings, on Tuesday August eleventh Swedish meatballs parsley noodles, and August the twelfth next Wednesday chicken fried steak mashed potatoes country gravy stewed okra. Season corn, pumpkin square, all of that's being served there at the Senior Center every uh, lunchtime beginning at 1130. Well, on your prayer list today, please remember Mr. and Mrs. Bill Johnson, also Rhonda King and Leela Sue King. Remember Linda Tarter. Keep on your prayer list Berta Combs. Remember Jamela Clements, Jacob Olivas, Janetta Precure, Randy Norman, Virgie Hartline, Kelvin Johnson, Junior Davenport, Donald and Joe Phelps both, Charles Mayhew, Terry Byers, Sandy Noble, Betty Ruth Wood, Bonnie Carpenter needs to be on your prayer list today. Remember all of our pastors and our church leadership boards and deacons in these trying times. Keep everyone at the Senior Center, along with the director, Carolyn Johnson, on your prayer list today. Remember all the leaders in our school, Dr. R.L. Richards and Dana Hethington, along with their administration staff, teachers, and students as they go back to school. Remember our city leaders, Ramon Sanchez, our city manager, our mayor, Cliff Black. Uh, Remember our county leaders as well, our governor, uh, uh, Abbott, along with our president, Trump all of our local business owners and all of their employees during these trying times. Remember uh, Dennis Fleenor, uh, our CEO administrator at the Muleshire Hospital District, and all of those at the Parkview Nursing Care Center, too, as, as well as these are really difficult times in the healthcare industry and especially in nursing homes. Please keep those who have recently lost the, uh, a family member I saw a tragic story earlier this week on Wednesday out of South Texas along the coast of the superintendent of schools there uh, died from COVID ID, uh, COVID-19, excuse me, Dr. David Freeman. Keep him, his family on your prayer list today. And I, I remembered that Flower Bluff ISD is where our new athletic director uh, came to Muleshoe from Jason Richards. So please keep the family of Dr. David Freeman on your prayer list today. He died of COVID-19, the superintendent of Flower Bluff ISD. It's there in the Corpus Christi area. Remember, please, the family of Benito Alicon, the family of Sheriff Foster on your prayer list, the family of Maxine Rogers, the family of Jose Lozano Herrera, the family of Dewey Moore, the family of Maria Martinez needs to remain on your prayer list today. The family of Irenia Ramon. The family of Evaristo Sanchez. The family of Pete Thomas. Keep the family of Aurora Martinez. The family of Bobby Nell Dunham. The family of Jose Cortez. The family of Pearl Brown needs to remain on your prayer list today. The family of Larry Trider. Bob Owen. The family of Raymond Trider and the family of Gail Morris, along with the family of Jean Allison and Helen Free. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News Program, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Liao's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News Programs, as well as all of our archived ones, free of charge, on demand on our website, muleshootv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, the Doffelmeyer in San Saba. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. 
The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. The Doffelmeyer Hotel building in San Saba has an interesting history. Upstairs originally hosted the San Saba Gentlemen's Club, which was San Saba Society. That's where they had their galas and their balls and dances. We converted it into uh, six hotel rooms. Owner Clay Nettleship. The hotel opened four years ago. The upstairs had been converted to a four bedroom apartment that had been back in the 70s and it was quite a mess. The downstairs area used to be a bank. Now it's a deli and coffee shop. There's wonderful breakfast, great coffee, sweets, pancakes, omelets, that sort of thing. The hotel stays full. Clay wishes he had more rooms. We're real proud of it. A steakhouse is planned a block from the hotel. It's Pecan House Grill. After Baylor Law School, Clay became an oil and gas attorney and practiced in South Texas. He returned home to do some renovation of downtown. People began leaving and moving to other parts of the town to open their businesses, and so A good portion of the downtown needed renovation and was uh, empty. He bought four downtown buildings. The Doffelmeyer was one of them. Another one is home to the Wedding Oak Winery. It's been named one of the top five wineries as far as quality in the state of Texas. Now they have tasting rooms in Burnett as well as Fredericksburg. Another winery, the Old Man Scary, is next to the Wedding Oak. Five generations of Clay's family have called San Saba home. Fourteen years ago, he and some other businessmen started a foundation to spruce up the town. We began raising money to do historic renovations to public buildings, those that are not in private hands. And so we have done complete renovations of three different buildings. The major fundraiser is called the Catkins Ball, Catkins are pecan blooms, which appear in the spring. Sixty percent of the guests are not residents of San Saba. We have anywhere from 600 to 650 people. Clay Nettleship of San Saba. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.